testing position of the Word of God and what we should do in chapter 4, First Little John. If you don't know where Little John is, he's after Peter. Bible, you got your place? Amen. Fourth chapter, first little John, listen to what he says. I count this lance as an instruction for all of us. Because he said, Beloved, believe not ever spirit, but try the spirits. You see what he said? Not spirit, but spirit. You know why he said that? Because he said, Wherefore they are of God, because Many false prophets have gone out into the world. There's a guy that lives in Valdez. And I don't know if you ever know him or not, but I know Arnold has. He sits over here across from the hospital every Sunday. We read his Bible and never goes to church. I think you know his name right on. You know him, Tom McLean, be a preacher. Anyhow, he drove a tractor and trailer, and he'd get on and get you on the 19, and he'd preach a while and then cuss you out. I know him. I've known him for years. And he, when I seen him and this guy come in this church, and I've been here about a month, they sat back there about where Miss Ruth was at, and he always tried to stir up something. But he knew me when he come in. He said, when did you take this church? I didn't know you was over here. And that fellow told him, get up and tell this bunch something. He said, if I do, Harry Michael will set me down. I know him. And when they started to leave, they come around, and the boy said, What do I have to do to preach here? And I said, God asked me to ask you to come. And they ain't been back. That's been 15 years. You shouldn't worry about being asked if God's called you, because God will give you some more to preach. Me and Lance work together because we're brothers in Christ. And Devil don't like it, he can just go ahead and throw up over the valley somewhere because we're going to pray to God in him. And remind me when Brother Lance years ago when Steve came here, Steve said, Lance said he's afraid to come down here. Well, he got down here and got over his scaredness, and now he ain't scared. <laughs> Amen. But he said, Believe not every spirit. We oughtn't to believe every spirit we follow or follow every guinea pig that walks down the road. Amen. Amen. Don't follow everything that you hear, like that old man the other day telling about when the Lord's coming. Uh, Tim, I know he's coming, but ain't nobody knows the day and the hour. Amen. Nobody don't know the time. I don't know when he's coming, but when he takes me out of this world, he's coming. Amen. Amen. I ain't worrying about the. We had a funeral here and uh, buried the. Uh, if I ain't mistaken, that was Emily's first husband we buried out there. And the wife. And we had had a real good service. I mean, the women of the church fixed supper for everybody. That's the first time they'd ever done that, and I appreciate that. And in an evening time like an Arliss night, if they can, you know, and have a supper like that for the people to feel and all. But that funeral home man said, man alive, we need more churches like this. So that boy's got to pray and preach. Me and uh, Brother Charles and Sam, Ken, 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 and that, that Charles said, I'm telling you what's the truth, anybody couldn't feel the job in a year or something wrong with it. And went right out there and had a meeting and had a good time in the Lord, amen, because that and it's in the camp, it's done paid the price and done gone. There ain't nobody can bring them back except Jesus, and he'll not be brought back or she'll not be brought back until the resurrection morning. Amen. And Jesus calls his church out. And the Bible said, try the Spirit. What you try? I try the Spirit to stand up here. Some Sundays I come in here to preach, and it's cold as a banker string. Miss Rita get up here to lead singing, and sometimes it's cold she can't lead something. Amen. Arnold, you felt the coldest a lot of time to come in, but the spirit, there's the evil spirit. They that slipped in on us. Come on now, church. We're not living in heaven. We're humans, and we're living, Brother Tim, 
in a day when the devil would sure left to throw us to slip to good. But I'm glad, thank God, that if we're praying, and hold together and hold hands. And he said, uh, we're, we're, wherefore they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out in the world. How, uh, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Amen. And we got that side to sponge brothers and sisters and teaching that Jesus Christ dated a little young girl and he was, uh, he was born of a harlot. That's a lie straight out of hell. Amen. He wasn't that kind of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus Christ. God chose the one for him to be born, Brother Bill, through. And she was a virgin. Amen. Never knows the man. Had a boy for him, but they didn't live together back then. Come on now. I'm just wow. preaching just like it is. Just like I never knew what Mormons was until years in life. There's an old man up in Tatertown that had three women, and he said that was his sister. And I was just a young boy, and I thought it was up. And he found out later in years he was a Mormon, had three wives. Ain't that the one that has three or four wives? Yeah. Yeah. Had three wives. And I knew him, good old man. Amen. He's a good old fella, just like uh, people uh, look you straight in the eyes. I love the Lord, and then first thing they would tell you a lie. Come on now. I told my wife, I said, if I see the man over the campground where I was at, again, I'm going to talk to him and tell him it'd be best if he didn't tell people lies. He'd get along better. I pulled in and every place is full, but one, he said, and that person will be out there at 1130 and said, it's, uh, it'll be into then, he said, 1130 is check out time, he said, preacher said, you're just here a little bit early, and I said, well, I can go to service else if you don't have an oil, he said, I've got that place for you, and he said, them people have that place at 1130, you know who the people was that was in that place, and he come out of the, the, the place there and he felt so bad about it, I reckon, it was his own camp. He pulled it out and parked it over there beside the woods and said, now you back in there, they're gone. I said, I <laughs> Holy cow. Why can't we just be honest? I got a camper sitting up there. When I get it unhooked and moved out of the way, that's your place. See, tell the truth about it. Amen. Uh, when I worked at City Morgan, they had old gas pumps. You remember them had the, the top on it, the OX on it, they had glass top on it. And, and uh, we was out there filling up the gas and the boy... They worked with me, dropped the gas cap, and it vibrated Arnold down into the side of it. You had to take the thing apart to get it. And he said, what am I going to do? I said, go in there and tell Glenn Winters the truth. And I'll show you, son, that the truth will make you feel a lot better. What was I tell him? Go in there and tell him we was pumping gas, and the pump was vibrating, and the gas cap fell down in there. Do they have another one we can have? And he went in there and he said, well, yeah, go right back there and tell that fellow to give you one. He said, you know it works? I said, the truth will work every time. Amen. If you'll be honest with people, not try to pull them on them, the truth works. So he said, hereby know you the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confess, do you confess wherever you go that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? And he walked on this earth one day and he died on Calvary. And, and that old song they say, the ground's level and put across. No man stands higher than nobody else, brother. And we're all Amen. equal in the eyes of God when we come to prayer. Amen. And the Bible said, In every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come to the flesh is not of God. And that is that spirit of Antichrist, for all ye have heard that it should come. And even now already it's in the world. Antichrist has been in the world ever since the beginning. Amen. False prophets, false people, false Savings. But I'm glad today to tell you. I'm going to tell you this, and it ain't a bit false. Look at me real good and listen to what I've got to say. Jesus is coming soon. Yes. And when he comes, I'm leaving. Amen. You are if you're a part of the church. Amen. You know, uh, I'm not a criticizing. Now, there is people that and it's at home and can't get out of the bed. They can't walk. They can't do Miss Emily lay on yard. She can't be here. That's a lot of difference. Then people are going to work and coming home and said, I serve God as good as a home as I can. I can't serve God as good as my house like I can here. Because I got believe I got friends here. Amen. We're all amen. Come in. Preacher, how are you? How's your week been? How's your week been? And, and, and just fellowship is what makes a lot of difference. And I believe the Bible says, Forsake not the sin of yourselves together. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. I believe we're assembled here tonight to get a blessing. And just think about what happened while we've been in here. God sent a shower rain. Amen. And I'd come out there and hadn't been a drop out here all day. But God said he'd send rain in due season. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's read this other verse. Ye are of God, little children, ye have overcome them, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. You know, I get to looking back and thinking, you know, I don't even think about cussing like I used to when I was in sin. I cussed every breath. I stood. I drove automobile, and when you just, uh, you didn't dare me. I stayed on the floor and going the curb as wide open as it run. It didn't make no difference. But you know what? I have a fear of God now, and I know when and where. And I told my wife, I said, I don't pull my camper with that much power. The weight behind it over 60 miles an hour. And people that come by me, Brother Jeff, just flying with these old big long ones and everything, and not knowing that down the road something could happen, they could kill half a dozen people. What I'm saying is, life is worth living. Be careful and spare. Be careful and spare. You take these uh, young people, did you ever uh, hear about as many like this year? Young people that graduate and get killed right before the graduation. Amen. You never know when we're going to leave here, what's going to happen. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Yes, sir. Can I tell you something the woman told me? Uh, that I got to thinking about. Now that she said was true. My wife said I say she said this happened uh, a few months back. This woman went over to what is that? Harry's Harry's gambling joint. What is it? I know the casino. Harris. Harris casino and said she went and took her husband in a wheelchair and was pushing him around. And said she needed to use the bathroom. She pushed him over to the bathroom, left him sit in the wheelchair and went to the bathroom, and he fell out on the floor. And a couple of casino men picked him up and set him back in the wheelchair. And they pushed him somewhere else and she was gambling on these machines. And he fell out on the floor again. They said three times. They said that man said, something's wrong with that guy. He keeps falling out of the wheelchair. We need to go down and check that out. Now, they, she said this is the honest truth. She called the woman's name. She even knew him. And said they went down, put him back in the wheelchair, and, and said, the lady said, your husband's dead. Oh, she said, just take him out there and put him in my van, and when I get done gambling, I'll take him home. Poor people's really got a hurting in the heart for their loved ones, huh? Been there sitting all that time since she brought him in, dead. And her gambling, pulling them machines, gambling. Take him out there in my van and put him in the van and, and, and just lock the doors in when I get done gambling, I'll take him home. I believe my wife knew me that way, I'd come back alive. <laughs> Tell her I believe you would. <laughs> Amen. Bless it. No, I know that I missed it a white Verse 6. We are of God. And he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of the truth and the spirit of error. We ought to tell by the spirit when people tell the word it's true or not. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is... Love. L O V E. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. The O E. The Bible says he's O B the ones of the death of the cross for you and I. The B in it in Christians that he come out victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And the E in it, we're loving, we're obedient, we'll have a victory and have eternal life at the end of time when we come. Lord, you know, amen. That's amen. enough to shout about. Amen. Love, 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 love. God, there's no love like the love of God. Amen. The people will tell you that they love you, Lucy, and turn around and back your head off. Amen. Yeah, they look. But Jesus made that way. He that loved not the 
He that loveth not knoweth not the God for God's love. Love. I had a fellow tell me, he said, I'll be wished and be glad in the day he is that I can have compassion, Preacher Michael, as you do. He said, I've never seen a person and don't flare up at everything like you do. He said, you just take it just like it's, it's there. I said, God tells us to love one another and to be careful how to speak. Amen. We well, can't say like the brother said here tonight. If you can't say something good, keep your mouth shut. Oh, amen. Uh, some people, if they was in my shape, they'd be a holler. My, knee, my knees start giving away on me. My hips start giving away. And then uh, people say, oh, my knees need surgery on. Well, I, uh, I'm going to pray God will let my church pray for me that I can keep on trucking because I don't want no more knives on me nowhere. I'm too old. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm too old to cut the mustard and I sure don't want to spread the mayonnaise working on my knees. Amen. So we'll just keep on keeping on for God. Are you saved? Amen. Are you proud of it? Amen. Raise both hands and give God a shout of glory. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on, let's pray. I'm done. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray.